Okay guys, and it is time to start cooking dinner. I just got through cooking breakfast and I cooked for breakfast this morning, shrimp and grits. And um, I did a little scrambled eggs on the side. So make sure you guys go watch that video. Now I am moving on to dinner. It is Sunday morning. Now I am moving on to dinner. I have my stove preheated at 400 degrees. And um, today for dinner, I am cooking brown sugar salmon I'm gonna do like a little lemon herb butter sauce over it um, and I'm also cooking um, cilantro lime rice and of course the girls they don't want fish so I am going to be cooking they want baked chicken um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that prep now and get that in the oven so what I'm prepping now is the baked chicken for the girls and um, me and my oldest will eat the salmon in the um rice but you know how it is with kids sometimes they don't they don't want certain things and i mean they do eat it but they just don't want it so um you know how it is with kids so i'm gonna go ahead and get some um baked chicken for them they love my baked chicken and they'll just have that with the cilantro lime rice all right let's go ahead and get this chicken prep guys and in the oven all right and i've already got my chicken all washed up cleaned up so i'm gonna go ahead and get it pan up and as you guys see, it is the chicken, it's the uh, chicken, you know, for the girls. Um, I've got like the little drummits and the little flats. It's kids, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this panned up and get my season on it. So, so you guys can see how I do that. My flats on one side and doesn't matter I just mix it up so go ahead and get this panned up already got my chicken all cleaned up washed up real nice Let's see how we want to pan this up let's just get all of our meat out first We'll see how we'll fit this all in. Okay, let's see. All right. Little tiny one here. Squeeze this one in there. I like to make sure all my meat is flat. Flat to your pan. So that your meat gets cooked properly. All right, so we've got our pan on nicely. Set up with our chicken. Wash my hands here. All right, and of course, I am spraying my chicken with some oil. My good old faithful Publix canola oil. I love this stuff. You guys will see it all the time. Let me throw some salt and it's for the girls so you know I'm not gonna over season it they don't like a lot of season so a little salt for them a little pepper make sure you guys can see let me zoom you guys in a little bit more okay Back you up and zoom you in so you can see. There you go. Don't want to do too much for the girls. For my two little ones. My little mamas. They don't like it. They don't like it over seasoned, so I don't want to over season it. And this is plenty of chicken for them. And you know, and if me and my oldest daughter want some, so. Plenty of chicken for everybody. And it's like the little drums and the wingets, you know? For like when you cook hot wings. And, and, and you know what? Kids do better with these, you know? They do better with these instead of the big, piss, big pieces of chicken, you know? So, throw a little bit of chicken season. 
Um, this is the chicken season. Let me get that in for you guys. Chicken season. Um, I did some ground black, black pepper. I did some salt. And now I am doing my regular seasoned salt. And you know, this is a mixture of different seasons. Just going to put some of that on for the girls. And see, spraying that oil and then putting your seasons helps your season stick to your meat. And y'all know, I ain't cooking without my parsley flakes. I'm not cooking without it. So, let's get some of those on for girls. All right, got some of that on. All right, so our baked chicken is ready. Now, of course, chicken will produce its own juice, but I pour a little bit of water right in the middle, of course, right in the middle of the pan. Just a little bit of water, about a third cup of water. Not that much, just a little bit of water. And I just kind of move it around in my pan so the water gets around. You know, that water, the water helps create a steam, you know, helps cook your chicken. And of course, I am going to wrap this with aluminum foil and put it in our oven. I'll put it in the oven for about, I'll put it in the oven for about, I'll set my timer for about 25 minutes. And that'll cook it nice and brown for the girls. Wrap that real nice and tight. Real nice and tight there. So your heat can stay in and that water creates the steam, helps cook your chicken. All right, and I will put that center of the rack. And I'm gonna put my timer on 25 minutes. And our timer's going, guys. And that's our baked chicken in the oven for the girls. Um, let me go ahead and get the rice together and the salmon together and I'll be back to show you guys that Okay, guys, we are back and it is time to get our rice together Okay, and this is the Vigo cilantro lime rice It's a very good rice guys very good rice. It's delicious. This is the eight ounce bag and let's see our instructions say uh, two cups of water, uh, two tablespoons of oil, and that's what we're going to do. All right, so let's get our two cups of water. You guys see my measuring cup here? See if I can make sure you guys see that. One cup. Eh, kind of hard to see, but it says one cup. Anyway, so we are going to do two cups of water. In our rice cooker, two cups of water. Two cups of water in there. Two tablespoons of oil. And I've got my one little tablespooner thing in here. All right. And I've got my Filippo Barrera olive oil. So, I'm going to do two tablespoons of oil. Mix my oil up in there a little bit. Get it all mixed up with the water. Okay. Get those guys out of our way. So, we've got our oil and water in our rice cooker. I am going to add a little salt, of course. And I am going to add little bit of parsley in the water just a little bit for now so let's go ahead and get this rice in okay all right get our rice poured in there Okay, 
Okay, we'll get that stirred in. Everything all stirred up. All the seasons from the rice, a little bit of salt and parsley we put in there. Oh, this is going to be good, guys. This is going to be good. This lime rice, lime flavored rice, cilantro lime flavored rice. It's amazing. Just the lime flavored rice, you know. Just to give your rice a little extra. Let me show you guys. You know. That's what it's looking like. That's what it's looking like in there. So, let's go ahead. Let's get our rice cooker all nicely plugged in. Let's focus camera. Put you guys out so there you go. Alright, so let me go ahead, get my rice cooker covered. And of course, you guys, if you guys remember you watch my video, let me get my rice cooker plugged up here. Hold on one second, guys. Let me shift you guys over here. Okay. Alright, let me get my rice cooker all nicely plugged in okay so we can get the rice cooking okay all right rice cookers all nicely plugged in show you guys once I plug that rice cooker in it goes from warm and it will go over to cook. It's at warm now because it's just warming up, you know, getting all ready for us. It's on warm now. Get you turned around here, buddy. And once it warms up, it will switch over to cook. And that's it, guys. So we'll be checking back in on that rice. So in the meantime, let's rotate over here to our salmon. And we are going to be cooking, let me back you guys up. We are going to be cooking our salmon in the rice cooker. I'm sorry, in the rice cooker. In the air fryer today, air, air fried uh, salmon is delicious. The air fryer keeps it nice and juicy for you. And you know what? It's quick. But it does keep it nice and juicy for you. So let me show you guys. This is the Publix Brown Sugar Glazed Salmon. Got four pieces here. Really nice big chunky pieces too. Look at that. Looks delicious. So I'm going to get this out. Get it in our air fryer. Okay. See, I've already got my air fryer plugged up. We we ready. I'm ready over here. Let me rotate you guys around here. Take you guys around here to the air fryer so you can see what I'm gonna be doing. Lift you guys up a little bit. I think that'll be good. All right, so as you can see, I've got my air fryer ready. I've already got my air fryer lined with aluminum foil and I've already sprayed it with oil so that your salmon does not stick. So I line mine with um, aluminum foil. Anytime I cook in my air fryer, you'll see, I always lay down aluminum. It cuts down on the mess. So I go ahead, I got my aluminum laid down. I've sprayed my aluminum with a little oil and I'm gonna go ahead and get my salmon in. Go ahead and get this unwrapped. Brown sugar, so it's gonna be sweet. Let's get our salmon pieces in here. I've got four pieces, so let me get them in and then I'll show you guys how they look. You guys know you don't want to overcook your salmon. You don't want to overcook it, especially in the air fryer. It gets done so quick. Let me get my hands washed. 
move you guys over here. You guys can kind of look at that some and let me get my hands washed. Okay. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash your hands a million times a day. I know I do. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Now, our salmon is, um, let me get you guys over here. Sorry about that. Hold on, guys. Bless me. Okay. I'll keep you guys right here. All right. I'm going to try to get you down in there so you can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Work with me, guys. Okay. Here you go. You're in there with me. Now, our salmon is already seasoned with a brown sugar. So it's going to have a little sweet, a little sweet to it. They don't really put that much brown sugar on it, but it has a little sweetness. I am going to add a little bit of my own seasons. Remember, I am going to show you guys. I am going to be making, let me show you. Got this from Publix. I am going to be making a lemon. Let me show you guys. I am going to be making a lemon herb butter. It's just a lemon flavored butter. Voila, that's it, nothing magic. So I'll just melt this down and um, you know, lay it over, drizzle it over the uh, salmon. So it'll give it like a lemon herb flavor. And you know what, that's gonna go really good with that whole brown sugar. So it's gonna be like a sweet lemon herb. It's gonna have a lot of flavors, that's all I know. It's gonna be good, y'all. So anyway, yeah, in case you wanna get this from Publix, lemon herb finishing butter and it's um over not with the regular butter it's over there where the seafood where the seafood is you know where the um fresh seafood is that's where you'll find this so i'm just gonna melt this down guys and lay it over the salmon once the salmon's done okay all right and let's see let me throw a little bit i am gonna spray my salmon with my oil this is going to help your salmon cook. So I've already sprayed it with my oil. I'm going to put some salt. Just throwing a little salt on top of it. So it's got some flavor while it's cooking. Y'all already know I'm throwing parsley on top of it. So don't be talking about my parsley. Yes, I put it on everything. It's my food. I put what I want to put on it. Anyway, so yeah. Yep, I put parsley on everything. Get used to it. All right, so we've got that. I don't want to put too many other seasons on it, you know, because we already got the brown sugar season. We're already going to have the lemon herb, lemon herb butter. We're already going to have that. So I don't want to do too much. And we're already going to have the cilantro lime rice. That's a whole lot of flavors going on. So I don't want to do too much to my salmon. You don't want to do too much to it. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this popped in our air fryer, guys. Let's get it in there. I am going to, let's see. I am going to, it's already pre, pre uh, set at 370. I'm going to leave it at 370. And it's already set for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and 15 minutes, 307 degrees, guys. Let me show you. And guys, this is my new uh, air fryer. I do have two air fryers now. If you guys make sure you go watch that unboxing, my uh, Emerald Lagasse uh, fry cooker, air fryer. So make sure you guys go watch that video. I do now have two air fryers. Gonna make my cooking time cut real short because I'm gonna be cooking in two different air fryers. So, but today I only need one uh, for my uh, salmon. So, um, like you see, I have it set at 370 uh, for 15 minutes. So we will come back and check on it. And it does not take long, guys, to cook salmon in an air fryer. It does not take long at all. And it's always nice, plump, and juicy. And you know what I like? The air fryer doesn't shrink your salmon. I hate when that happens. But yes, it's going to keep it nice and juicy for you. It's not going to shrink it. And it keeps all the juices inside. I'm telling you guys, better, better get y'all some air, air fries if y'all ain't got none. But all right, guys. We'll be back to check on everything. Bye. Okay guys, I'm back. My timer just went off on my air fryer on that salmon. So let's check in on that. See how that's looking. Make sure you guys can see when I pull it out. Alright. 
that is looking good hold on let me let me put you guys down so you can see put y'all down so y'all can see this so, look at the sound oh we mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy on my soul. Look at that. Look at that salmon. Look at it. And it and it creates its own little juice down there too, you guys. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. Bear with me. Oh, look at it. Y'all don't know I gotta zoom y'all in. Oh, look at the salmon. Look at the fish. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, fed with Two fishes and five loaves of bread. Look at it. Yes. Yes, he did. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that song. Look at that song. Okay, y'all. Okay. I ain't going to tease y'all too much. And that's in the air fryer, y'all, for 15 minutes. You don't want to overcook your song. It'll get all rubbery. Look. look. I'm zooming y'all in again. I got to do it. I got to do it. Ooh. -wee. Yes, he did. Fed the multitude with two fishes and five loaves of bread. Look at that fish. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what kind of fish it was he fed him with, but this salmon, it might have been salmon. Y'all don't know? I don't know. Just said fish in the Bible. But whoo wee. If it was salmon that he fed him with, good God Almighty. Ooh wee. Jesus, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. The salmon is done, so I'll be back with our with our next step. All right, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys. I did forget to tell you guys. So I did put the salmon in for 15 uh, minutes, but I also flipped the salmon over. You flip. You gotta flip your meat. So I flipped it over and I did it for five minutes on the other side. And look at that, guys. Beautiful. Cause you know your other side gotta get cooked too so make sure you flip it over five minutes in the air fryer and it is delicious delicious it is delicious all right so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead transfer my fish to my bowl i've already melted that butter herb sauce guys i've already melted it let me move this back you know what, let me see. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see. All right, I'm just gonna transfer the salmon into my bowl, and then I'm gonna pour my lemon herb butter sauce over it. Y'all know I just took this out of air fry, so it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. You know salmon is so sensitive. It wants to break, so you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful flipping it over. Just get your spatula right underneath it. And I'm gonna flip it over in my bowl. Don't break. Flip it over. Okay. All right. We're looking good. We are looking good. All right. And I'm gonna put that other piece. See where I can fit that at. If I can fit that other little skinny piece over there. Hoping I can get it in there. All right. We looking good. I hate when my, my salmon breaks. So. We looking good, guys. Nothing is breaking. We looking good. Squeezing it all in here. All right. And our last big piece. Okay. Let's get that in. Ooh. Ooh. Looking good. Ooh. There's a little piece of salmon left in there. Let me taste that. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. With that brown sugar. Mm-mm-mm. Brown sugar, babe. I'm just high off the love. I don't know how to behave. I don't think y'all know that song, but if you do, y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, it tastes so good. That brown sugar on that salmon. Ooh, want some of your brown sugar? Ooh, look at that. Mm mm mm. Make you want to sing? Y'all know I sing in a minute. I don't care. I've been singing in front of thousands of people all my life. I am not afraid to sing in front of nobody. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm going to bring it in for y'all. I'm bringing it. Y'all know I'm bringing it in. Look. Look at this salmon. 15 minutes. Flip it over. Five more minutes. Oh my God. That brown sugar tastes so good and sweet. Amazing. Now, 
I've melted my lemon herb butter sauce. I've already melted it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me, y'all. Bless me, somebody. Somebody bless me out there. All right. That's all right. I'd rather God bless me than man. All right, let me show y'all how I'm going to drizzle that over. Make sure you guys are in to see. Yep, y'all can see real good. I'm going to zoom you all in. Hold on, y'all. Get y'all set up. Y'all know I like to let y'all see everything. All right, so we got our salmon. Oh, brown sugar salmon. Look at that. Looks amazing, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle it over there now, y'all. Look. That lemon herb butter. Just going to drizzle it. Make sure everybody gets some now. Look at that. Ooh wee. Just pour it on. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know that's gonna be good. Y'all know that's gonna be good. Let me move this stuff out the way. All I gotta do is pick up this aluminum from the bottom of my pan, wrap it up, and throw it away. And my air fryer is still nice and clean. I just take my rag and just Wipe the bottom of my air fryer out. It's still nice and clean. It ain't nothing to be cleaning up. I just wipe my air fryer out. Boom. Put the tray back in. Get this tray back in here. Get my air fryer unplugged. Let me get that back, back there for y'all. Okay. All right, bear with me, y'all. Let me get this air fryer unplugged. Okay, got our air fryer unplugged. Let me take y'all, take the fish over here to the stove. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's our timer. Okay, that's our timer for the baked chicken in the oven. Hope y'all ain't forgot about that baked chicken we cooking. So anyway, let's get y'all zoomed in. I want to make sure y'all can see. Look at it, look at it. Zoom y'all in on it. Get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ooh wee. A little shadow. Because you know why? Let me show y'all that cilantro lime rice. Take the top off of that so y'all can see that. That did get done. Bear me one second, y'all. Let me show y'all the rice. Here it is. Just took the top off. Y'all see it's still steaming. That is the cilantro lime rice. Give me a second, I'll get y'all zoomed in so y'all can see that. All right, let me see. Amaya, you can go ahead. All right, let me see. Zoom in on that rice for you guys. Ooh, wee. Zooming in on that rice for y'all. And that is the cilantro lime rice. Looks good, guys. It looks good. Looks real good. All right, nice and hot. And let's go back down to our fish. Bear me one moment, guys. Y'all know I gotta adjust this thing. Okay, let's let's put this over here so we can see. Yes, yes. There go the fish. Yes. Yes. Want some of your brown sugar? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Looks amazing. Oh, I'm zooming in some more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This thing goes real deep. Look at that. Look. Back y'all up. Y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I will leave y'all there, but I ain't gonna do y'all like that. All right. So we have our, um, we have our lemon herb butter brown sugar that's a lot of flavors y'all we got all that going on with the fish with the salmon fish and we've got our cilantro lime rice back there <laughs> so y'all see dinner is done i've got to pull that baked chicken out of the oven for you guys i do want you guys to see that when it comes out so you guys have seen the fish and the rice all done and completed so i will go ahead and get that baked chicken out of the oven and i'll show you guys how that's looking all right guys i'll be back with the final meal which is the chicken 
Okay guys, the final touch, just wanted to come back and show you the baked chicken, how that turned out for the girls. As you can see, it looks delicious. Zooming y'all in. Y'all already know how it's going down over here. Zooming y'all in. Look at the chicken. Nicely grilled. Nicely brown. Remember, we sprayed the top of it with our oil. Nice. Gives it a nice little brown crust across the top. Helps it cook. Looks amazing. And the girls love, they love plain baked chicken. They love it. Sometimes they put a little barbecue sauce on it, a little mustard. They're kids. You know how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is the baked chicken, guys. The final um dish for our sunday dinner thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media thanks guys i appreciate your time and don't forget knowledge is power thanks guys